Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin from Nourished by Caitlin. I am a nutritional therapist as well as a trained chef and today I'm going to be teaching you or showing you a great recipe which is wonderful for the winter time, anytime it's cold or anytime you want to substitute a little bit of coffee. So the reason why, you know, I suggest this recipe is because it is really hard to get off the coffee fix and when we're on the fertility diet, you know, everybody is different, but sometimes overstimulating ourselves with coffee raises our stress levels, you know, it raises our cortisol levels, which is our hormone for stress, and really kind of, you know, is not a good thing. It can upset our digestive system, especially when we don't have food with our coffee. So this is a just a great alternative, an herbal um, nourishing latte that we are going to be making today. So a great alternative for that coffee fix and when you need something warm and nourishing and just delicious. So we are going to be starting with just a few ingredients. I have got my tea kettle warming up. So go ahead and put your um, pot of water on to get it nice and hot and you can cook along with me. And we are also going to be using this one ingredient that is called Dandy Blend. Now this you can find on Amazon, you can find it at most grocery stores. So this is a great coffee alternative. Now Dandy Blend is uh, a very nourishing for your body because it has dandelion root in it. And you might think, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. But dandelion root is incredibly nourishing for us, for our livers. It is great to help the liver detox. And our poor liver has so much that it needs to detox from on a daily basis. So this will help with your stress burden, you know, when your liver isn't overtaxed all the time, right? So we are gonna start with a scoop, a bit, about a large tablespoon of our dandy blend. So we'll go ahead and put that into our blender. So take out your blender. Okay, so you want like a nice big scoop of the dandy blend into your blender. So pop that in and then because um, it is the winter and you know, um, it's good to have nice kinds of spices. We are going to be adding a little bit of cinnamon. So go ahead and add about a teaspoon of cinnamon to the blender. You can add other spices as well if you are a big ginger fan. Um, say if you're cold all the time, ginger is a really warming herb, so this is a great one to add. So you can do ginger, you can do like maybe a little bit of nutmeg. Um, think of all your pumpkin pie spices um, that you'd want to use that you've been using for the holiday season and that just are so warming and they're incredibly beneficial to us as well. Cinnamon is excellent at helping us to stabilize our blood sugar levels. So if you're that type of person who is always craving sweets, craving sweets all the time, add a little bit of cinnamon to your dishes, to your um, drinks, to your meals, you know, and it's really gonna help to stabilize your blood sugar. So we're adding about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of cinnamon, depending on how you like your drink, your latte. We've got our hot water going. And then, um, let's see, we are going to add some other magic ingredients. So if you don't have a nut milk, if you are doing alternative milks beyond dairy, um, sometimes dairy can be very inflammatory, um, especially when we're on this fertility diet and we don't need any more inflammation in our in our diet, in our lives right now, we have enough stress going on, so we don't need to stress our body even more. So an alternative, if you're like, I'm not gonna go out and buy almond milk or coconut milk or whatever, or if you have those things, those are great substitutes. But if you don't, if you're running short, another alternative would be to use hemp, hemp hearts. These are really excellent. They are super high in omega-3s, which are excellent for our body. And um, this is a great, very inexpensive way to make a nut milk that's super quick. So you wanna add three tablespoons of these hemp hearts into the blender. And what this is allowing me to do is I don't have to add any kind of milk to this because it's going to create a hemp milk, which is really good for us. So we're adding three tablespoons into the blender. Now, like I said before, you can add, you know, about a cup of um, coconut milk, almond milk. You just wanna make sure that they don't have a lot of, you know, crazy additives or preservatives or things like that. So I really like to make my own nut milks. It's a very easy thing. We can do another video to that if you would like, but making your own, that way you know exactly what's going in it. You know, it does last about a week in the fridge and um, they're just very, easy and tasty. You can jazz them up with a little bit of cinnamon if you want. 
Um, all right, so then next we're going to add our coconut butter. This is going to make everything really creamy. Our latte is going to be so delicious. Um, so we're adding about a tablespoon of the coconut butter. When it is cold out or cooler in your house, the coconut butter gets to be hard. And when it is warm in the summertime, then this baby is going to be all liquid. So a good thing to remember, um, you know, it changes with the temperature. All right. So, and then the last thing up, oh, we have two more things we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of ghee. This is some homemade ghee. It's G-H-E-E. -E. This is just also known as clarified butter. You can make your own or you can buy it from the store. It's much more affordable just to make your own at home and it is super easy to do. I'm telling you, super easy. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon of the clarified butter into the blender. And then our last ingredient is going to be, which we really need because a lot of times you know, in the morning we don't feel like eating, we're rushing around, taking care of all kinds of things. We just don't have time for anything, so, but you have got to get some good quality protein in with each of your meals. Protein, fat, and fiber, right, for each of your meals. So this is what we're going to add for our protein for our latte this morning, and this is just a really good quality collagen. So I like to use the Vital Proteins collagen mix. This is not a flavored one. They do have flavored ones out there. Maybe like a vanilla would be good. You know, just make sure you read the ingredients and know exactly what's going in. So you can add one or two scoops into your latte mix. This is going to give you 10 to 20 grams of protein, which is a really good thing to start with. You know, on your fertility journey, you might need to have um, anywhere from 75 to 100 grams of protein every single day. So, you know, you've got to be getting in that protein. Protein builds muscle. It, um, you know, is excellent. It's not going to add fat to you. Remember, it's going to, going to add help to build your muscle. And it helps to build a baby as well. So this is just perfect. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients in. You can experiment and do other things. Maybe a touch of vanilla, maybe a pinch of sea salt. Um, or maybe a touch of maple syrup if you need things to be a little bit sweeter, but try it without at first. So then we're going to do about a cup, um, let's see, two cups of our hot water, right? So this is going to be just so nice and creamy. We're going to blend it up. Turn on our blender on high. It's going to be super loud. So I'll put you on pause for just a minute. Okay, we are back just whipping up our latte, our herbal latte. This is an alternative to our coffee that we're having. We blended it up for about 30 seconds, so that didn't take long at all. I'm just going to show you all how nice and creamy this is going to be. Let's see if you can see this coming out. It is so luscious. This is like the type of creaminess you would get if you went to a coffee shop and it would be like that rich foamy cream um, from a latte. So it's smells delicious it's so good and remember this is going to help to keep you full um, until your next meal which will hopefully be another nourishing meal so i hope that you all enjoyed that you know let me know if you have any questions my name is caitlin from nourish by caitlin and i wish you all well on your journey take care